Hey guys, Mr. Decker here. This is lesson 20 of the Express course, Changing Variables with B. So our computer science standards for this lesson are create programs that use variables to store and modify data, and decomposing and breaking down problems into smaller manageable subproblems to facilitate the program development process. Our central question, what are some ways you have used variables so far? I want you to come back to and answer following these instructions down here once you are finished with this lesson. Let's jump in. I'm already logged in on code.org. I'm already at bubble one for changing variables with B, so let's get started. Finish this code so that the bee can collect all of the honey and nectar. Alrighty then. So it looks like we've got uh, our bee friend up here. He's going to be collecting honey from the, uh, or nectar from the flowers, honey from the combs. And it looks like he's got to go this route. So looking at the code that's already set up for us, set gather to two. All right, so we have this variable established here. And all right, repeat some number of times, collect row. So we've got this function being called right here, collect row. Here's the collect row function. And I'm thinking we need to put this variable into this function in these blank spots. So let's go to variables, gather, uh, and the variable is set to two. So we're telling it to run that two times. Let's see, variables, gather, variables, gather, and let's see. How many times does he need to do it? Once, twice, three times. So variables, let's see if we can change that to a number. Oh, how do I put a actions, loops, oh, there we go. Three times. Well, let's see if it does it. Oh yeah, very good. All right, continue, bubble three. And bubble three says, edit your solution in one place so that the bee can collect all of the honey and nectar. Edit in one place. Wonder where I need to edit. Uh, the function's being called here still. This is the same exact thing I did on the last bubble. So let's see, he needs to go this way, then this way, and then this way. So I'm thinking, gather to three. Oh, I see, because there's three items in each one. On the last bubble, there were two on each one. So that's why two is important right there. So let's change that number to a three, and run it. Cool, it worked. All right, bubble three, such an amazing garden. Let's pull our function up here. Uh, again, always with the really good puns, right? Love the dad jokes. In this puzzle, each patch needs the variable to be one less than the patch before. Subtract one from the variable each time through the loop if you want to use the same function to solve this level. Okay. So subtract one from the variable each time through the loop. All right, so we're going to have to inside this loop right here, subtract one from the variable. So we're going to go into variables, set gather to, let me move the function out here, and then into the variables again, 
Is there a math? Yeah, here we go. So let's do this. And then I'm going to pull that out. Throw it away, actually. Uh, variables, gather. And change this to a minus. So now it's set gather to gather minus one inside the loop, just like it's asking us to do up here. So really, it was just a matter of finding the right blocks to put in. Most excellent. Uh, super realistic bee gathering honey sounds. We love it. All right, let's keep going. Edit the code to make it work for this puzzle. Let's move the function. Edit the code to make it work for this puzzle. Let's see. Hmm, let me think about this one. Um, three. There's only one on these, so let's change it to a one. Um, do, 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 do. Repeat three times, I think, still, because he's got to do it three times. Once, twice, three times. And then... Running the collect row function. Uh, maybe just a plus one here. So that each time, so it'll grab one on the first loop, two on the second loop, because you're adding one to the gather variable, and then three on the third loop because you're adding one to the variable the third time it's run. So once, twice, three times. All right, bubble five. Okay, oh, a blank canvas, 24 blocks. Create your own code to solve this puzzle. So... It's going to be very similar to what it was before, I'm thinking. Basically the same exact program as the last level, uh, except we got to build it ourselves. So we can take a peek back at that, but I think I can build this. So first thing I want to do is make my function. And I'm going to call it... Uh, collect and let's build out this function so I need some repeat loops I need one two three four repeat loops I think Do -do 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 and then each of these inside the repeat blank times needs to be the gather variable. Oh, I guess I need to create the variable first. Set. Let's name it. Gather, create, set gather to one. Where was that? Math. Yeah. There we go. Set gather to one. And then functions, variables, gather. And pull this out here four times. Variables, gather. Variables, gather. Variables, gather, and then actions, he needs to move forward, get nectar, uh, make honey, and move forward, and then turn, turn right, actions, turn Right, outside those loops. All right, and now we need a repeat. We're going to do it one, two, three times. 
So loops repeat three times. We're going to call the function that we made. And then set gather. to gather plus one. Uh, math, yeah. And let's run it. That should work. Yes, sir, e Bob. All right, continue puzzle six. Uh, challenge, all right. The last one was a little challenging. Let's see what we've got ahead of us here. All right, let's see. Um, this one looks like another one of those zigzaggy ones that oftentimes are brain-breaking for me, but first thing I want to do is create a new function. Let's call this one collect as well. And for this one, I'm going to do a while path ahead because these are so spread out. And that way, each time it doesn't have a path ahead, it will turn. So let's work on this. So loops, while path ahead, move forward. And then uh, repeat. I'm going to have to create a uh, variable first, though. Um, rename this variable to gather, create, set gather to math. And I'm not sure what this number is going to be yet, but we're going to set that out there for now. Uh, and then this needs to be gather. And then get nectar. So I think it might be three. I'm going to say this is three because there's three there. So get nectar. Um, actions, get nectar. And then he needs to turn right once he gets to there. Plop that in, and then another wild path ahead, because right now he's here, needs to go. So uh, loops, wild path ahead, move forward, and repeat gather times. Make honey and turn left. So actions, goodness, I'm getting mixed up when the options aren't readily visible for me. I'm forgetting which drawer in the toolbox to look in. All right. Now let's build out the win run part of it. So we're going to have to repeat this three times. And then we're going to call the function inside the loop. And then we need to do some math. Uh, variables set gather to. Math, gather plus one. But it needs to be minus one this time because it's three here, two here, one here. So as it runs, it's going to reduce the number of times that it needs to run, gather inside the function.
So far, so good. All right, continue. You try to challenge me, I show you. Um, all right, so let's do bubble seven. This puzzle is a little different. What do you need to do to solve it? Let's see here. One, three, five, and seven. Oh, boy. Okay, so first let's make our function do something. Let's name this collect it again. Collect, collect. Collect the nectar, collect the honey. And let's build this out. Loops, while path ahead. We're going to move forward. And another loop. Uh, repeat. This needs to be a gather, so we'll have to make a variable. Oh, I hit cancel. That's my problem. Create. There we go. Uh, let's go to math. Set it to one. All right. Uh, I know I'm going to have to repeat whatever the function is four times because we're gathering four times. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a loop, set that to four, and call the function. Uh, I'm not sure what the math is going to be there yet, though. So let's go ahead and build out our function over here. Um, what's the next thing? Gather. And make honey first. Actions. Make honey first, and then he'll need to turn right. And then he will need to move move forward. Uh, I think. I think. And then another repeat gather times to get the nectar. Because we need him to get to the honey, make the honey, turn right, move forward, then gather the nectar. So let's do it. So loops, repeat gather times, variable gather, actions, get nectar. Okay, and then inside here, we're going to have to add to gather, and it's one here, three here, five here, and seven here. So one plus two is three, three plus two is five, five plus two is seven. So we're adding two to gather each time. So variables set gather two. Let's add some numbers to it. Uh, let's see, math, one plus one. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, over here. Ah, I, I did a dumb. Okay, gather plus two. Whoop, change to a two. Variables drawer, gather. Okay, that should work. So far, so good. Awesome. All right. We've been moving right through this one. I'm th I feel like the time on this is really quick. It is. Awesome. Okay, look at the code below. It's a prediction. Uh, how many units of nectar will the bee collect at the end? Goodness. All right. So we've got a function here, move and increment. Move forward, 
set nectars to nectars plus one. All right, so let's look at this. So set nectars to one. All right, there's our variable being established, and then here's it being used in the function. Set nectars to nectars plus one. So every time this gets ran, nectars is going to be uh, added to by one. So now it's two, and he moved forward. And then set nectars to nectars plus one again. So now it's three, four, five. Set nectars to zero. Okay, one, two. Repeat nectars times. Repeat one time, get nectar. Ah, oh, um, so, so I think he's going to, so it gets to two here. Hmm. Let's see. Um, the bee won't collect any nectar because the variable isn't called gather. That's incorrect because the variable is called nectar, and it's used everywhere. Uh, the bee will collect all of the nectar. No, he won't, because you reset the value to zero right here. I don't know, or the bee will only collect two nectar. Repeat nectars times, which is once, get nectar. But we set nectar's value to zero here, then to one, then to two. I think it's going to collect it two times. Yep. Sweet. Uh, whoop, continue. <laughs> Press the wrong button again. You guys. Okay, cool. All right, that's it for lesson 20, changing variables with the B. Don't forget to come back here and answer what are some ways you've used variables so far. All right, and uh, you'll do that in a text entry box. That's it for this lesson. Hope you enjoyed it.